hello this is a very quick look at the Amazon Fire TV stick this comes really nicely packaged and it's got everything in you need so as well as the little TV stick which is a tiny HDMI dongle it has the power on the side which is just a micro USB uh, this also comes with a remote control nice little remote control has everything on it you need it also has the instructions very easy to follow this is really easy to set up a HDMI extender and the power cable the power cable is just a standard USB cable so you've probably already got one of these uh, maybe for your mobile MP3 player and it comes with the plug adapter that you just have to clip together to get up and running thoughtfully Amazon have also included a couple of batteries for the remote control setup was really easy I was up and running in about five minutes you get a good length cable for the power cable and all you need to do is attach the cable to the stick and plug your fire stick into a spare HDMI port now this is where you might need the HDMI extender I didn't need to use it I just plugged it straight in this stick is great for either the main room living room or a second room TV maybe a bedroom once you've plugged this in and powered everything up you just have to go through the setup process very quick and simple just choose your language and then choose your Wi-Fi network it'll scan for the available networks you pop in your password away you go Amazon have included a really good little demonstration of how to get the most out of the fire stick so it just shows you how to use the remote and explains some of the features I'm with Virgin Media I haven't had any problems setting this up or streaming at all uh, and I haven't tried the parental controls either I, I don't need to use those so I can't comment on other networks such as BT and using the parental controls if you've bought this stick for yourself using your Amazon account that will be pre-set up and if you're an Amazon Prime member that means you get instant access to the Prime movies and TV without having to enter any further details the interface itself is really nice it's very simple uh, lots of big pictures and you can navigate around very quickly and easily just using the little remote if you select something to stream and it's part of the Prime Video you can watch that as part of your package if it's not if it's something that you might need to rent it will come up with the pricing information uh, but overall it's a very slick service if you've used Prime Video on other devices you'll find it this is probably one of the better experiences it can be a bit clunky elsewhere but I'm quite impressed with this one now you can also use your mobile and you can use that either as a remote or to search for things via the voice command function Outlander if you're not keen on voice controls or it has problems recognizing your voice you can also do searches via a more traditional text input and as you can see I only had to type two letters to find Star Trek which is what I was looking for you're not restricted to just Prime Video you can also install other streaming services such as Netflix you'll need to put your username and password in but once you're in you get the familiar Netflix layout again this runs nice and smoothly actually this is a lot smoother than on a smart TV I've got it's quite a nice experience there's an awful lot of streaming apps available and you can also have a look at your watch list uh, and games as well if you've got any games from the Amazon store you can go and access them here Amazon do actually quite frequently give away some games so it's worth checking out now if you don't have the controller you're not going to be able to play all these games so something like Sonic for example will really benefits from a controller when you try and open it up it will warn you this game needs a controller you can attempt to launch it anyway I found that in actual fact Sonic really doesn't play without a controller you can get to the menu it looks like it's going to play fine uh, unfortunately you can't actually start the game it probably won't be particularly good with the little remote that's there anyway so if you do want to use this as a games console I recommend having a look at the extra control pad that you can get so as you can see absolutely loads and loads of different services I'd definitely recommend checking out this TV player one if you're using this in a TV in a room that doesn't have an aerial this will stream live TV uh, as if you are using an aerial so absolutely brilliant for bedrooms kitchens uh, wherever it means you can get rid of that external aerial and stream all these completely free of charge so overall then so far I've been really impressed with the fire stick this is a very low cost solution it's very slick it's got a decent amount of memory on board in case you want to add extra apps plenty of services are supported I think Amazon have been a bit cheeky I think the search results actually in return from Prime rather from Netflix or iPlayer things like that uh, so they are trying to funnel you that way but if you're an Amazon Prime subscriber and you do make use of their video streaming service that's still better than having to manually search through so far I think it's a 
great little stick. It's actually replacing a Roku for me, uh, and I'm finding it much, much better than the old Roku that I had. Hope you found this short review useful. Thanks for watching.